how may improv, uh, how improv may or may not do the world? Ah, uh, uh, the definition of improv, let's get rid of the Oxford English Dictionary uh, method of defining it because it gives a circular definition that means nothing to no one. So, because uh, if you look it up, you'll also find it, uh, uh, moving on. Uh, so, uh, improvisation for our purposes is talking about an improvised theater piece that has generally uh, two or more people uh, conveying that they're interacting as normal humans do regardless of the spe uh, specific circumstances. For me, improv has changed my life. It's led to a personal evolution from a person who was shy and quiet to someone who will wear a ridiculous beard in public. Uh, now, you're probably aware that improv is being used in a business context. Uh, look at the fun that these people are having. Um, uh, and, and there's a good reason for all of that, why those techniques of improv are being translated to, uh, to the boardroom. And that's because uh, the first one is communication. Uh, to be a good, or to do improv well, you need to be able to communicate and get your ideas out there. But even more importantly, listen to the ideas of other people that you're collaborating with. Uh, secondly, is that virtue of fearlessness, to be able to jump out there and be spontaneous and not care that you don't have a plan. It helps free up the mind and gets us in touch with that inner animal instinct of, uh, of just pure flight or fight. And uh, the third use is to stir up creativity and collaboration uh, with a large group of people that you may or may not be uh, familiar with working with. Uh, big shout out to improvaz.com, know your audience. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the Northwestern, uh, Northwestern University School of Medicine. They actually use improvisation uh, to, uh, they have a curriculum for their doctors that are coming out of their program. And there's a really good reason why. Because as a doctor, you want to be able to communicate with not only your patients, but your fellow peers. Uh, those of you that, uh, so that when people are communicating, uh, that their various titles and degrees don't get in the way of communicating with each other. Uh, this is the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland. It, hey, yeah, give it up. Uh, so, uh, imp actually, uh, Charna Halpern of uh, Improv Olympic in Chicago was sent there to train nuclear and particle physicists in improv. Uh, first off, to communicate what they're actually doing instead of telling people that they might possibly create something that creates a black hole. Uh, but also because even uh, people as smart as them have to get loosened up and think outside of the box. Uh, this is, uh, this could be, with our budget kits, this could be uh, the school system today. <laughs> and, uh, and there are ways to apply improv techniques to, in school. In uh, the Boston uh, public school, uh, in the Bo uh, Boston public school system, they've actually used improv uh, as a way to reduce aggressiveness in children uh, because they get, to, uh, by playing improv games and scenes, they actually learn how to collaborate better with other people and, uh, and it actually helps them focus. Uh, this is the Bioscience High School in downtown Phoenix. Uh, this is gonna be where our next generations of scientists come from. And it's important, uh, we're actually, uh, my theater, the Torch Theater, is working with them to, uh, uh, to establish a theater program. Uh, and a good reason why uh, improv works well in a school setting is improv have, uh, schools have no money. Um, so all you need for improv is a blank stage. Who's this guy? Shakespeare. He's been dead for a million years. So his works, while they're great and grand and their themes are still relevant today, teens need something that they can relate to nowadays. Boom. With Improvised theater, teens get to create their own scenes, their own theater, uh, and as my compatriot and mentor Bill Binder says, teens have so much uh, feelings and angst that they want to get out, and improv theater is a way to do that. What if improv doesn't save the world? It doesn't bode well for me, someone who's hinged their whole life on improvisation. <laughs> but that's okay, because ultimately, uh, ultimately, uh, any Thing that's awesome that's happening, the base unit for that awesomeness is people. People are the people who are making things happen. Uh, redundant. Uh, <laughs> people are making things happening, happen through the various ways uh, that I see reflected in improvisation. So if you ever think that something's not getting, that something's a problem and there's no solution to it, the answer is you. Because you can find out, even if you've never taken improv class, 
You can, uh, you can use communication skills and your creativity. I'm out. Yeah.